Hey there, Myers, man. This is Solid Nintendo. Welcome back for another episode of Let's Interview a Series. Where I will take various Let's Players, YouTubers, we'll interview them. You guys can get to know them. They get a bit more publicity. Who do we have today? It's Thomas Ashwell. <laughs> yeah. You guys might have known him before as Mario Madness 12 when it was him and Blue Tanuki who were both on the very first kind of interview when I started using the border thing instead of the webcam. So we decided let's take him on for a one on one one because Woo! one on one one well. Um simply because, you know, their channels have changed a little bit since. Thomas is no longer uh, Mario Madness Club. Well he is, but he isn't. I am, yeah, I am but I aren't. No, nope. I almost dropped well, my GameCube we'll, controller. <laughs> we'll get into that, but um we'll start off with having you tell everyone a bit about your channel first. Alright, well I'm a Let's play on YouTube. My main niche being that I'm British. I believe that to be the main thing. But um, and I do mainly Nintendo games. But I am straying off to do uh, other other get Let's plays of other games because I'm doing, for example, uh, Duck Tales, which is a NES game, which is something out of the out of the ordinary for me. And I'm doing uh, Halo. And then I always tend to do Nint Nintendo games, but I'm sort of straying off. But basically, I'm a British Let's player. <laughs> Mm -hmm, from uh, yeah, and I also do vlogs on my second channel. Yeah, be sure to check that out. Okay, so we know that we, we've established from previous interview how you came up with the YouTube username Mario Madness 12. You know, you were yeah. having madness with Mario games and you were 12. Yeah, pretty much. But now you're just Thomas Nashville. Why would the sudden change? Well,. Well, it wasn't really sudden. It was. It took me a while. <laughs> it took me a while to decide. But basically, I just I linked my Google Plus account to it because whenever I think when someone's looking on a video, I just think they'd see the name Mario Madness Twelve, and they'd think it's some fanboy who made an account when he was twelve, which is exactly what I did. Who, but <laughs> but of course I. I'd like to say I produce quality content, and I, I just don't want the first impression to be that. So I yeah. just I've changed it. I changed it to Thomas Ashwell on my Google Plus name, but then I've recently changed it to Thomas J Ashwell because my middle name is James. So I just decided to put the J in there, and that's the same as my Twitter at thing. So I thought that yeah. th that'd make more sense. I saw a few people still doing at Mario Madness 12 when they're trying to yeah. contact you. <laughs> it's funny, but um also. Since we're still on the topic of names, I noticed on Twitter you finally got a name for your show. I did. For my uh, daily vlogs show, yeah. Uh, Zach came up with the original idea. It was he was going to say Thomas Ashwell versus the internet. And I just thought I'd shorten it a bit, so I just got rid of my surname out of there. So once that's approved, that's going to be the official official show name for my uh, daily vlogs. I still got to think of one for mine. <laughs> but I'll get there eventually. Yeah. In any case... Um, since we're doing uh, this interview is you know coming close, guys. Three more days now. Well, as of recording this, three more days until the one layout is forced onto everyone. Oh, is that you're already use <laughs> Yeah, you're already using the one layout. What do you think about it? I, uh, yeah. I don't dislike it as much as I did when it was first introduced, just because I've had time to get used to it and stuff like that. But I still don't really like it. Cause I mean, on the uh, Cosmic Panda, I like having backgrounds and I like being able to have you know you can have your most recent uploads going like in reverse chronological order beneath the featured video on Cosmic Panda I didn't know you could do that oh yeah basically you could just have it like your most recent upload is beneath it and then it keeps going down um, ah, so yeah. it was basically a reverse chronological thing of all your videos and I really liked that because it showed people what I had uploaded recently and the other thing oh, is, I, th I thought you meant like putting it in reverse order from like your least recent. Oh no no I thought no! Thought you could do that too. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> and then the other thing I liked was having you could have your shows on your channels, and because I take time to make the artwork for my shows, I like yeah. I'd like them to be showcased. But no one can. channel. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what they'll make next. Two channel. I don't know. <laughs> Deal. Maybe that's where the Xbox One got the name from. From YouTube's One channel. Or or vice versa. Or vice versa, yeah. True. It's all just being one now, guys. But um, for the next question, and um, I think you've answered this before in the last interview, but we'll get the answer again, and that was who inspired you to start doing Let's Plays, or just recording videos, if anyone did. 
to a well on my channel originally, I it was shared with my friend Ben, and we made little shorts, and we did a, a series called Stuffed Mario Brothers. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, my inspiration for that was uh, a YouTube user known as Mario Mario eighty nine eighty nine. That that was like our original inspiration. He's got like thirty thousand subscribers or something like that. So, because um, he did a series called Cute Mario Brothers, and mm -hmm. we basically took the idea and changed it to stuff Mario Brothers. But for Let's Plays, it was Duh Chugger Conroy. Um, <laughs> but after my first LP, I lost inspiration. Blah blah blah. So that it was then really like a a joint effort of getting me back into it. It was. Stephen plays, um, Josh Jepson, and I would say like, well, uh, a lot of the Let's Players really. I mean, they all got me back into Let's Playing, but I'd say my main influence was probably Stephen plays. Yeah, he's a good guy. He is. He's a really nice guy. Okay, move and, on to the uh, next yeah, question. That's my answer. For, yeah. Oh, for uh, for daily vlogs, it was also Stephen vlog. So, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> what? Do you hear me? Yeah, what, what happened there? Uh, we got internet problems. We forgot how to internet. Wow. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll continue. Um, hey guys, we should sorry, just keep sorry that, about in. that. We, we got internet problems. We should just keep but, that in. Should we? Yeah. Because <laughs> I kept it talking. So it wasn't, too, it wasn't too long, but I was talking too, so it'll probably overlap. <laughs> well, basically, we'll I just said happens. that my vlog we'll inspiration was Steve's vlog. Now. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Are you sure you want me to keep this in? Yeah, go for it. Well all that okay. I said all that I said was that my inspiration for my vlogs was Steven Vlog. Okay. So basically okay. Steven. <laughs> Alright. Uh we know for a fact that this um or oh, actually hang on, that's the wrong question. Was this your very first YouTube channel? Yes, it was. Um hence the crappy username. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to know, my first ever username was Sean OD one fifteen. Yeah. It was Sean, my name OD, which stands for O'Donovan, which is my second name. Fifteen. I was fifteen when I made it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, okay. We want the next question, and that is um, when you're using your other channels box, do you primarily reserve it for friends, channels you enjoy, or mixed both? Uh, at the on my uh, gaming channel, it's I have it. I have the name of it affiliates. And it basically just has my vlog channel, uh, you, Billy, my friend Ryan, Niall, and a couple of other, uh, Dash, and a couple of other friends. And then it also yeah. has um, HNC Video Production, which is basically my uh, college's YouTube account. And that, on my gaming channel, I just decided I'd uh, make it into people who I'm basically affiliated with, uh, like friends and things like that. And then on my uh, vlog channel, I'm just loading it up now, it is affiliates and inspirations and that's basically most of the same people and then Steven Vlog and CTFXC at the bottom so yeah okay cool okay so what was the very first game you ever played um the first game I can remember playing is Yoshi's Island on the Game Boy Advance okay but my dad said that I've played games with him since I was like two or something like that, so... Oh, uh, my dad said that one of the first games I played was GoldenEye on the N64. Oh. Um, my mum nice. made me stop playing it because she thought it was too violent for me to be playing at two years old. <laughs> you were two? I, I think so. That's what my dad pick, said anyway. Pick up a controller at two. Well, my, my dad will have been like doing it for me or whatever with, with his hands over mine or whatever, but... I can remember yeah. my dad saying that that's one of the earlier games that I played. But the one, the first I can remember playing is Yoshi's Island. I guess I'm kind of glad my parents didn't see me playing Super Metroid when I was playing that because, uh, <laughs> you know, going around as a side-scrolling woman shooting aliens, yeah, yeah, it would have been all, it would have been all too bad. It's probably kind of funny because I went down to GameStop the other day and I picked up some games you might have saw that I got Sonic Colors and I yeah. got um. Bioshock and all that stuff, and she said, "Well, what kind of games did you play? Are they, are they okay? Suitable games for Jack is the very first thing that she has to ask." <laughs> but uh, Jack doesn't go on my computer. And it's like I got Bioshock, and I got the Orange Box, and I got Oblivion. So yeah. I guess they're still iffy about that. In any case, we'll move on to the next question, and that is: Is there any specific gaming franchise you'd like to get into? 
This is a new one. Um, mm -hmm. Metroid. Have you been ke have you been keeping up? I haven't watched <laughs> some of the most recent ones, but okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah, Metroid. <laughs> I will kill you if you don't play any one of those soon. <laughs> I, I will do a stream of Super Metroid soon, hopefully. Yes! Yes! Also, are we having internet problems again? Because you sound really garbage. <laughs> I sound garbage, guys. I hope you. I hope you like this. I hope you like this, because uh, I'm gonna check my call quality, and I'm using my boost hillbox, so it should be okay. Yeah, I mean it it's be okay because it's picked up on audacity. It's gonna be fine. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Next question. Uh, what was the worst game you ever played? Well, I remember in my first interview, I said Sonic 06. Yes, you but, did. And actually, looking back at that, you seem to kind of like that game now. At the time, I had only played it in 2006. I had played Wave Ocean, and that's it. Since then, I really like Sonic 06. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, the worst game I've ever played. Um, that is a really difficult one. Uh... I guess I can cross Sonic 06 off the list at this stage, because I don't think it's going to go down well as one of the worst games for me to play. I think you still need to play it. <laughs> if I can get a copy. Yeah. Uh, I got the worst game I've ever played. Probably some Barbie thing on the Game Boy that my sister <laughs> used to play. But... Oh, I, I honestly can't... I, I don't know. Do you want to think I've about it? it? We'll come back to it later? Yeah, if I've thought of something else. But for now, those Barbie games on the Game Boy. <laughs> okay. Um, for the next question, uh, who are some of your favorite Let's Players or just YouTubers? Well, Sean of Nintendo, of course. Um, <gasps> we'll just end the video there. <laughs> <laughs> um, the people who I watch the most are... Um, hold on, I'm just loading up my uh, subscriptions thing. I watch mainly uh, Stephen Plays, Trigger Conroy, um, Stephen Vlog. I watch Versus, PK Sparks. Uh, Kobana Money 456. Uh, did I say Trigger Conroy already? I think I did. Well, these are an inspiration, so I assume so. Yeah, Trigger Conroy. Did. All all the mainstream people, really. I'm not watching, like, Josh Jepsen at the moment because I've seen about 10 Let's Plays of Mario Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hope you know that I plan to beat Steven Plays, you know, first to beat uh, Twilight Princess because I'm yeah. after catching up on him. I was thinking I'm about beat him. You're like you're like even <laughs> on parts as well. We're all at the exact same like part of footage. Like I'm on part 41, he's on part 40. We're all in the same temple. <laughs> in any case, um, next question: What's your recording setup like, and what kind of equipment and software do you use? Um, my recording setup sort of changes every time I record. Um, um I've got like a big cabinet. Uh, you'll see it on my vlogs if any of you want to check it out. I vlog in my room like every day because I always forget to do it. But, um, I've got, like, this big cabinet which has got all of my game consoles on it. It's also got, um, basically my dad drilled a hole in the back of it so I can have all my cables going through there. And that is where my Elgato goes. Uh, yes, I use an Elgato. There's my equipment thing. Um, and it sort of goes around the back of my TV. And I basically just switch over the HDMI cable whenever I want to record from a different console. Um, yeah. So it's, it's a really quite a simple setup. All the wires are hidden and everything. And then... I use a blue snowball on quite a tall mic stand, and I'm just today actually. My dad gave me his old office chair because he got a new one, so I'm probably going to be sitting in that from now on when recording. But that's how I'm yeah, sat I now, noticed, anyway. Yeah, I did notice that when you were uh, the chair that you had was actually the exact same chair that I used to have when I was in my old room, the kind of squeaky one. Yeah, Isn't I mean this one's kind of noisy, but not as noisy as the old one. Um, yeah. But as far as equipment and software, I use an Elgato Game Capture HD, a Blue Snowball microphone. I record with the Game Capture HD software and Audacity. Occasionally, uh, for DuckTales, for example, I'm using Fraps. And I edit with Sony Vegas Pro 12, and I use uh, Photoshop CS5 for my graphics. Okay, cool. So, what's your biggest drive to do Let's Plays? The... A while ago, probably no one would have said this, but the community. Because um, yeah. since starting Let's Playing, I've met you, I've met Billy, I've met Dash, I met Zach. 
I've met Ozzy and Ali, the Exiles, everyone. I've just met so many people doing this that it sort of drives me to keep doing it. Mm -hmm. If you know what I mean. Yeah. So we won't be friends unless you do let's plays, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. And I mean, like you do co commentaries and all that, and it's just yeah, the, the, it's fun. It is fun it is to fun. do. And you get it to play fun. video games. So. Well, you who, who, who can say no to that? <laughs> okay. Um, for the next question, what's your favorite let's play that you've done or are currently doing? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I feel that like in the past. Since the start of 2013, I have gotten better at Let's Playing, so if I could have like redone some Let's Plays, I would probably say some of my older ones, but for example, my first LP, uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, was absolute garbage looking back over it, but I enjoyed <laughs> doing it because it was with my friend Ryan. Yeah. But as far as like a solo project... Um... Let's see, I'm just looking through my playlist. I'm really enjoying... I really enjoy doing uh, Super Smash Bros. I just finished off the first Smash Bros. game, but... Honestly, oh, I think yeah, one of... Good. Some of my favorite Let's Plays are the co-op stuff I do with Zolf. Like, I really enjoyed doing Donkey Kong Jet Race. Um, yeah. And I'm really enjoying doing Halo. So... Yeah, those, I guess. <laughs> and obviously, Versus and things like that. Okay. Is there any uh, regret you have when any of your past Let's Plays? Obviously, you know, quality aside. Because I know that's the same thing with everyone, really. Um, other than, like, actual video quality and waiting until I had better equipment, um, I would <laughs> say not doing enough research, I guess. Um, yeah. Like, Brawl, I just kind of jumped into it, and I... The first ten episodes of Brawl, I had a face cam, and it was just ridiculous because it was always just like my forehead um, <laughs> and it, I, I did the first 10 episodes of my friend Ben who was just kind of slobbing around on the bed and he it made it look really unprofessional so yeah that well, I guess, probably you, know, you definitely come further yeah I don't do face cam anymore <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, move on to the next question anyway and that is um, what's your opinion on the let's play community today I think it's gotten a lot better. I mean, like a while ago, you'll know, that you'll obviously remember that it pretty much went down the crapper, and everyone was, everyone hated each other and things like that. But um, recently, I think it's gotten a lot better. Uh, that everyone seems to be, you seem to see a lot more co-commentaries and collabs and things uh, like more recently, and everyone seems to get along. So yeah, it's, yeah. I'd say I'd say it's pretty good at the moment. Alright, cool. So for the next question, is there any advice you'd like to give to other Let's Players out there, or just YouTubers who are starting off? Have fun, and, um, network. <laughs> so network just just friends. get to know people. Okay. Yeah, I mean, get to know people who have got, like, a similar subscriber count to you, or similar view count and things like that, and just get to know them, and then, I don't know, go in there, it's, have them in some of your videos, go in some of the, their videos and things like that, and just because then you can sort of grow together, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah. And it's just a much better way of doing it because, like, when I first started, I didn't want a network, and for my first, say, three, three let's, yeah, my first, three, first three let's plays, Brawl, Mario Kart Wii, and Rocket Slime, I did not like communicate with any other people. I was just like, I am a let's player. I talk to myself. <laughs> And then obviously <laughs> I met Billy, and that's when I started Galaxy Two Versus, and that has get, gained us both a load of subscribers. So, yeah, and that's because we work together on something. So, yeah, just network, and if of course have fun with it. If you aren't having fun with it, then don't continue. Okay, good answer. So for next question, guys, we're coming pretty close to the end. We're gonna tone things down a little bit. We just want to know what's your favorite Pokemon. Bulbasaur. 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 <laughs> Any particular reason? He's number one. <laughs> I don't know. Um, he's just always <laughs> been my favourites. I've always classified myself as a grass type Pokemon trainer, and I know that that is a ridiculous statement, but I've always used the <laughs> if grass type. If you were a Pokemon types. trainer. If I were a Pokemon trainer, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, I've just always picked the grass type starter in any Pokemon game, and Bulbasaur is just my favourite. Bulbasaur! 
<laughs> Power sword. <laughs> okay, move on to the next question. This is the big one, guys. What's one embarrassing fact about yourself? When I knew I was going to be do redoing this interview, I've been thinking about this question for days and I just could not think of anything. So what did I do? I asked my parents. <laughs> <laughs> did, and they, did they know you're doing this? Yeah, they know I'm doing this. And <laughs> they couldn't really think of much, but the only thing we could all collectively think of was that several years ago I had a hair down to my shoulders and I would constantly get mistaken for a girl. Like, <laughs> everywhere that I went. So I'd be like with my sister... And, like, there was this one time we were on holiday in America, and I can't remember where we were, like, baggage claim or something in the airport, and me and my sister went through, and one of the attendants just, they said something like, um, hello, girls, or whatever, but they just always mistake me for a girl, so that was one of the main reasons I got my hair cut. That's kind of funny, that's the same thing that happened with, um... The interview we had, had last week with Trail Mix Blazer, his embarrassing fact was that uh, people mistook him for a girl because of his high-pitched voice. Oh, right. So it's like you're not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, next question. We'd like to know, um, is there any question you'd like me to add in to future interview episodes? Um, maybe ask people which is their favorite of your Let's Plays? Uh, <laughs> maybe loyal subscribers yeah <laughs> <laughs> I might do that one and uh, for the next question and I keep skipping over this one and I'm sorry guys but uh, we'd actually like to know is there any game you'd like to let's play right now but can't um, Super Mario 3D Land and uh, Mario Kart 7 any 3DS games really because I don't no have enough money for a capture card <laughs> did you order that? No, I don't have enough money. <laughs> ah. Soon, man. Soon. Soon. But now, for the last question, just a bit of personal feedback for me. How did you like this interview? It was good. It was a lot better than the first one. <laughs> I, I, I think I've improved. I think I've improved. I know. <laughs> you have, definitely. You ask a lot more questions. But, <laughs> well, that's because I'm going to keep, keep adding in more ones. Yeah. <laughs> You're only going to get longer, guys. That's what she said. <laughs> In any case, guys, we'd, <laughs> we'd like to thank you uh, again for watching this episode, and as always for supporting this series, we'd like to thank Thomas for joining us today. No problem, anytime. Except not anytime, uh, because it's like a one-time thing, but you know what I mean. You're one of the very few people uh, who got to get a second one. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure to go check out his channel, link in the description box to his regular channel, his vlog channel, and his Twitter, annotations on the screen, all that good stuff. We'll thank you once more for watching. We'll see you in the next one, so bye-bye for now. Bye!